Now once you have decided that you want to continue with Java, now question arises what are the softwares we need to continue? Now first of all when you learn any programming language we should know right what type of tools you need. Example if if you have learned C programming before you know that to learn C programming as well you need some softwares. In fact for Java also we need three things. Now why we need these three things and from where to get it? The first thing we need is uh we need a we need a place where you can type your code right we need we need an editor then we need a compiler because we want to compile your code as we have discussed java is a compiler oriented language which means first you write a code then you compile it and later you want to run it now we need something where you will run this so will we require a runtime environment here now question arises if you want a editor what type of editor we can use in fact there are lots of editors available one of the default editor which you have in the system is notepad right we need a notepad here uh if you are using windows for different os we have different uh, editors now we need a compiler now when it, when it comes to compiler for java we have a tool called java c which is which stands for java compiler and we need a run run method i mean to run this we need something called a jvm now as we have discussed java works on jvm right in in the last video we have discussed about this when you want to run java you need jvm but then question arises from where you will get all the softwares so this is very easy right notepad we already have that the moment you install windows this is what you get by default we also have okay now we need a java c and jvm now luckily in every machine we do have jvm right in fact the moment you install windows by default you get jvm in fact same goes for linux and mac what about java c how do you get this and even if you get jvm by default which version you will be getting you will not be getting the latest version right So what you have to do is when you download this Java C from the internet, uh, it will also make sure that you will get JVM. But then which software we need? So to need to, if you want to work with Java C, we need something called a J, uh, JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. The latest latest version is 1.8, and again in this 2017 November, I guess they are also coming with uh, Java 9. It's still in beta phase yet, but let's let's see that later. So we got the JDK 1.8. Now question arises from where to get this? Okay, so even if you get this thing, what about the further tutorials? In fact, uh, in the in one of the tutorial, we start with a notepad and we'll do all these things. But for sure, when you go in future and in future when you work on a project, of course you will not be using net. Uh, you will not be using notepad there. You will be using some good IDEs because to work with this, we need an IDE. Again, we have a video on IDE as well. Okay, what exactly IDE means and how which IDE to use, but then remember this: we have two different IDEs to work with. Now, as of now, we'll be using Eclipse or we'll be using NetBeans, and both are there in this in this course. So some videos are based on NetBeans, some videos are based on Eclipse, so that I will give you that glimpse which one looks which. I mean, which one is better, Eclipse or NetBeans, and how to use both both of that. So after this entire series, you will know you will know both, right? How to use Eclipse, how to use NetBeans. but time in will i mean we'll talk about that later most important thing now is this jdk so if i go to google and search for jdk download if i say jdk h uh download it will take you to the official website of oracle which is here just click on this and you have to navigate okay so this is where you will get this software now depend upon which os you are working with if you are working with windows uh you can download this version depend upon which what which uh, which windows a uh, bit version you are working with uh, if you are using linux you can select this one depend upon debian or ubuntu uh, if you are using mac this is the only option you have uh, let's go for windows one let's click on this uh, link and okay first of all you have to accept the agreement you don't have a choice anyway uh, where is the agreement thing i can't see it here okay it's here and then you have to click on the download button it will download the setup for you and it is getting downloaded and okay so it is getting downloaded now and you can see now the the software is downloaded now if i click on this jdk download uh, it will take some time depend upon which uh, i mean what os you are working with i mean what's your system configuration and uh, currently i'm working on i3 machine so it will take some time to get to get open and install properly and it is getting open where is that okay i got this window and it's taking some time to load again 
Uh, okay, so when I click on this next button, then next, nothing much to do it here. Okay, everything will be happening behind the scene. You don't have to worry about this. Okay, and then it will, you have to simply say next, 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 whatever prompt it will give you, just say next, okay. There's nothing much, you have to set the path, nothing, nothing like that. And it, I think it should work now. Uh, now it is asking asking you for JRE. Now JRE again, uh, JRE is Java runtime uh, runtime environment. Uh, so don't change the path. Let's keep it default. By default, it will go into your C drive program files. Let's just say OK and click on Next. Now as it will prompt you that Java runs on 3 billion devices. Right? We are pretty proud of that. And you can see it is getting, uh, it is, the instruction is complete now, you can click on close and finally you got your JDK, right? But where do you find that? So if you go to your C drive and let me just jump to my C drive here, uh, okay, which is here. So if I click on PC, C drive, in your program files you'll be having uh, Java, inside Java you'll be having JDK 1.8. And when you go to bin folder, this is where you will have your Java C, right? This is what we wanted, right? So the software which we need is Java C and we got it. So once you got your software instruction complete, in the next video we'll see how to write your first code in Java. And I hope you're excited for this. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching.